to tacos. Taco, taco, tacos. Get your tacos. Hey! What the hell are you doing in front of my house? Salutations, brother. Welcome to Tony's Tacos. What can I get you tonight, my main man? Do you have any idea what time it is? I thought you might have needed a taco, Rob. I don't want to... Wait, how do you know my name? Everyone knows who you are, man. You're the chosen one. I'm the chosen one? It's time, Rob. Time for what? It's taco time. Oh, God. The intergalactic taco wars are gonna reach Earth in a matter of days, man. You're insane. If you don't come with me right now, everyone's gonna die. Right. I'm gonna go back in my house now, and if you're not gone in five minutes, I'm calling the... What the hell? Is your cart... floating? You better believe it, man. Before you join me in this intergalactic battle between good and evil, space squids and tacos, what? you must first accept your position as the chosen one. If you eat the blue taco, you'll wake up tomorrow morning and you'll forget anything ever happened. If you eat the red taco, you'll achieve your full potential and you'll save the universe from some pretty bad vibes. Well, when you put it that way. I'm not fucking around, man. People's lives are at stake. And if you eat the red taco, it'll give you some pretty cool powers. You get to do some cool shit, man. What kind of cool shit? Really, really cool shit, man. Like you'll probably be able to move things with your mind or ejaculate really long distances. Ugh. Ring, ring. It's destiny, Rob. Are you gonna pick up the phone? All right, fine. Uh, I'll, I'll try the red taco. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ugh. Did I have to eat this whole thing? When do I feel powerful? Any second now, man. Keep eating, man. What's happening? Oh no, man. I made a mistake, man. My boss is hella pissed at me. You're not the chosen one, man. You're off the hook. <laughs> Wait, what? You're not the chosen one, man, my bad. I'm not the chosen one? Yeah, can I get the taco back? I need that for the chosen one. What? I ate the taco. Oh no, man, that was my only chosen one taco, man. Uh, but you said I was the chosen but one. But you're not, man. Oh, but you said I was. Are you Rob Johnson of Earth? No, I'm, I'm Rob Smith of Earth. Ro Rob Johnson of Earth is, is my neighbor. Hey, is that a taco cart at this hour? <laughs> oh, hey, Rob, how's it going? Hey, Rob. Oh! What the actual oh, fuck? There can only be one chosen one, man. You shot him! I can't believe it! You could have done some magic shit or something! It's you and me, man! The chosen one is dead, and you ate the taco, man, so it's gotta be you, man. I don't wanna do this! This is crazy! You can do it! You're gonna save the universe. It's not that many squids, man. Well, I don't even know what that means. Listen to me, Rob. You can be a normal ass dude with a normal ass wife and die an unexceptional shill in this capitalist machine. You can save the universe. Be a hero. Chosen one or not, man. I chose you. You're my chosen one. I believe in you. Really? You believe in me? Yeah, sure. All right, man, I'll grab the feet and you grab the hands, okay, man? Oh, no, man. I hope no blood gets in my taco cart, man. I don't want to do this, this is crazy! Taco time! 
It's not that many squids. Break it down. Yeah, man. You keep eating it, man. Any second now. Does it taste good? I'm gonna find some space squids. I'm gonna put them in their place, squids. Got the chosen one power. Gonna ejaculate further. Take some tacos. Put them in space. Now you're gonna save the human race. Can I have my taco bag? I need that for the chosen one.
Amanda! The light's on, Mike. Yeah, yeah, the light. Are you done developing yet? I was thinking maybe you could watch the front desk. Takes time. Some of us actually want to leave, Amanda. Why can't you just have the machine do it? Twenty-four hour photo. This is Mike. You snap him, we print him. Twenty-four hours a day. Are we open? Are you kidding me? I'm here for pickup. Yeah, it looks like it's not done yet. Can you go check? Mike! Oh shit, were you exposing? My bad. No, no, these, these, these photos are fu are fucked. I. I said sorry. No, there's. I saw the light there. was on, but like this customer's giving me the creep. No, there's this the roll of these pictures. Something's wrong. Let me guess. You got pics of some dude's hold again. No. What? No, there was, there was a woman. She did something horrible, Mike. You're you fuck yeah, no, no, you're fucking with me. You're just mad your photos got screwed up. What? You have been in the dark too long? Did you even finish developing that disposable camera? Disposable camera? Is he... Oh, shit. He's gone. Thank God, that guy had a weird vibe. Those were, that was, that was his camera, he. Shit. He took those, he took those pictures. Really? Yeah, he. Whatever. Morning shift can figure it out. Okay, we, we need to tell someone. Call, call someone. Just say his role expired, it's no big deal. This, this is, this is serious. Why don't, why don't you believe me? Middle of the night, and you think you saw something in the dark. No photos, no proof. What are the cops gonna do about that? I know what I saw. Whoever's camera that was, they killed someone. Yeah? Then why are we staying here? I'm not getting murdered for minimum wage. Okay, okay, don't, don't, don't go. He could, he could be outside. Maybe if you weren't so fucking weird, Amanda, I believe you. I'll make you believe me. Yeah, I need a smoke break.
shapes. Welcome to 24 Hour Photo. Yeah, hello. I'm, uh, I'm here for a pickup. Y your name? Lechman. But I think you already knew that. Well, what are you doing? Capturing the moment. The, the, the photos aren't ready yet. Maybe uh, try again tomorrow. You can give us your number and... Uh... I don't think that'll be necessary. You need to leave, now! The sign says you're open. Where are you going? The good lighting's in here! You're wasting my time. Hey man, can I talk to you about something? Yeah, of course, man. You remember the other day when you were hanging out with, uh, fucking, um... Fucking uh, Travis and uh, fucking Dennis. Yeah. We were like talking about stuff and like you brought up this thing about like, like me and Sabrina. Yeah, man. I'm sorry, man. Was that kind of... Um... Yeah, I mean, it was like something about like... Uh, um, it doesn't even matter, but like, it kind of felt like shit a little bit after. Oh man, I'm sorry, man. <sighs> you know, like, I don't know if you meant anything by it, and like, I don't want to like blame you for shit, but like, it kind of felt like her after, like, I'm still kind of like tender about it, like, the whole breakup, I guess. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. Like, I wasn't even thinking about it, you know? Like, I gotta be more sensitive about that shit, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, it's like whatever, but like, I just kind of want to say it like threw me off a little bit, like, and I want to go around being all passive aggressive and shit. That's like, oh shit. Yeah, 
nah, man, it's not whatever, man. And, you know, I appreciate you telling me because, you know, I don't want to hurt your feelings or anything. And, you know, that's something I want to hear, something I should hear. So, so I appreciate you telling me that. And, you know, I'm just trying to be a good friend. So, yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, because, like, fuck, man, you know. Sometimes I want to tell you how I feel, too. You know what I mean? If we ever have to cross that bridge. Yeah. Yeah, man, like, your friendship, our friendship is, you know, is important to me. You know what I mean? I just want to make sure, like, we're good, we're solid and on the same page. So I want you to address those things like that. You know what I mean? Uh, Yeah, man. Dude, fucking, like, I appreciate you, man. Yeah, I appreciate you too, dude. And like, I value our friendship too, dude. It's like, I appreciate that you like, also care, like you give a shit, you know? Yeah, man, of course. And like, fucking like, it's hella dope that we could like, have these conversations, like, and we could like talk about shit like this because like back in high school dude you used to bust it to the dance yeah I used to bust it to the dance no like back in high school like like whenever someone said something or like something happened like my friends just like get pissed at each other and like fight about shit yeah I was like really bad and shit and like eventually like all of us just like stopped talking to each other and shit Yeah, man, fuck that shit, bro. Yeah, dude, for real. Oh, man, we, we gotta go. We gotta, we gotta meet fucking, we gotta meet Paul at the lab. Oh, yeah. Dude, I like Paul, man. Paul's fucking dope. Yeah, man, Paul? Yeah, Paul's a fucking good guy, man. Piece? Nah, you take it. It's chicken. I, I can't. We'll just wrap it up then. I mean, it's one pizza slice. Might as well eat it. It's chicken. I order Hawaiian, you order chicken, so it's yours. What's the problem with chicken? There's no problem. I just... Hold on, you draw the line at chicken, but you eat pineapple? Come on, it's just a little chicken. Frank, I... Come on, what? What is the problem with chicken? Come on, just a little. Sorry, was it someone you knew? <laughs> <laughs> Quincy Bland, a failed science experiment stolen from the CIA and homeschooled for 18 years. He's got superhuman powers, telepathy, and a dream to be a normal kid. Sally Sharp, a successful kid detective turned less successful forensic science major. She's got a sharp mind, a sharper wit, and no clients. 
Together they tackle the meanest crimes the world has ever seen. For Quincy is. Sally, I don't want to be rude, but do you think you can eat a little quieter? Yeah. I'm dirty bulking. What's dirty bulking? It's bulking, but dirty. I didn't see that. What's the matter? Can a detective binge eat in her own office? It's not bad, it's just... Don't you think it's kind of disgusting? I mean, you're tearing it apart like an animal. You use your hands. You ever notice that? Quincy, you kill giant animals with your hands every week. How are you any different? I... Uh, maybe you're right. You guys! I need your help! Oh my god! A client! There's a giant chicken terrorizing people around campus. Oh, never mind. Okay, we get it. But I'll have you know that I've actually done a lot to preserve this campus's no, safety. No, a real chicken. Six feet tall, eating people! Keep talking. Me and Frank were just hanging out at the auditorium rift up when a chicken just flew up from the bottom of the stairs. Chickens can't fly. This one could, with the blink of an eye. It grabbed Frank it. <laughs> Do you know if there's a reason the chicken ate Frank, but not you? It was the pizza, I think. I ordered pineapple, and Frank ordered the ch 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 It's okay. You don't have to say it. Okay. A chicken looking for revenge. A vengeful chicken. People eat chicken. Chickens don't like that. That makes sense, but why now? You sound insane. We've seen weirder. Why is that your lunch? I'm dirty bulking. You keep saying that like I'm gonna get it all of a sudden. Oh look, speaking of insane. Me is murder, don't be mean. Food you eat should never scream. Me is murder, don't be mean. Food you eat should never scream. Oh come on, Sally, you don't hate vegans. I don't. But you have to be a special kind of person to wake up at 8 in the morning to yell at teenagers about milk. I'm scared of them. They're not right. Hey, what are you eating? Oh, uh, Ben and Jerry's The Tonight Dough, starring Jimmy Fallon, caramel and chocolate ice cream with chocolate cookie swirls and gobs of chocolate chip cookie dough and peanut butter cookie dough. Did you know that nearly every cow that makes the ice cream you eat is forcefully pumped with unnatural hormones? Now I do. Want a bite? No thanks, but maybe you'd like to try our delicious and cruelty-free bag of artichoke. It's got less anguish and suffering with every bite. Well, bark me a river! Why can't you vegans go one sentence without being condescending all the time? I'm not condescending at all. Shut up! You know what I think about you and your stupid artichokes? What was that? What? She was bothering me. Sally, times like these make me ashamed to be your partner. Well, guess what? I just found our next clue. Wait, what? How? Well, call it a hunch. You're shooting in the dark again, aren't you? I like to think my logic is soundproof. Sure it is. Come on, Quincy, think about it. We know what chicken attacks random people who are minding their own business. We can guess that it's probably hiding out on campus as a student. And from what we can tell, it's based its entire personality on hating people who eat animals. Where else could it possibly blend in?
It's horrifying, Quincy. I think there's someone in this room more terrifying than a vegan. Enough with your jokes. Let's use telepathy to talk. You already endangered our cover with your artichoke stomping. Come on, we don't need telepathy. They're vegan. They don't care about us. They don't care about anything. You're better than this. I'm gonna look around. What would Sally do? Food! <laughs> Cauliflower? Soy sauce? Eggs! What, you're here to ruin more of my food? No, actually, I, uh, I wanted to apologize. Let me guess. You had such a moral epiphany in the last two hours that you're a cow-loving, tree-hugging herbivore now? No, really, I'm being serious. I'm sorry. I... Wait, really? Well, yeah. You guys are so forceful. I felt more intimidated than anything. Why do you... Do that. I, I feel like I would like you a lot more if you didn't. Well, if I'm being honest, I don't really like doing it either. If I ran the club, things would be different, but we gotta make people listen somehow. Well, if you really want to convince people like us, why get mad at us? I just can't help but get mad. I feel like a broken record telling people over and over again, you're eating dead animals, you're eating dead animals. But people really just don't get it. They tell me I care too much. They tell me to relax. I just don't know anymore. Do you know how that feels? To spend so much time caring for something and everyone around you just tears it down?
Quincy. You know, I know I was really bitter about it before, but veganism isn't as bad as I thought it was. This is Christy, by the way. Listen to me. We have to kill this giant chicken thing immediately. I felt so much evil and hatred coming from its nest. You found its nest? What do we do? Keep an eye on everyone in the room. Make sure no one leaves. It's here. Um. Welcome to the Vegan Club. We're a small, locally- ah! Sorry to interrupt. I have an announcement to make. What are you doing? Listen to me. Everyone. This is a chicken pizza. I found it in a bird's nest in the greenhouse. You see this? That's what I think about your chicken. You see this? This is the teeth of a meat eater. I eat your kind. What are you going to do about it? Want more? giant chicken. I can't leave him alone. Your partner's fighting that thing? What are you gonna do? Same thing that I always do. I have no idea. Look, I'll level with you. I don't know what's going on, but from what I can tell, we're both just normal people. What are we gonna do? Come on, let's just run for it. You're wrong, Christy. I'm a detective. It's my duty to help my partner. Why are you so angry at us? Why do we have to keep fighting like this? Answer me! I fight because your kind has never shown mercy to me. I've seen you slaughter and devour thousands of my friends and family. I've known nothing but suffering every waking moment of my life. Thanks to my master, I finally found a way to channel my rage for the first time in my life. And who's exactly your master? Like I'd let you live with that information. Uh, hey! Look, uh... 
<laughs> I know you're upset about your kind being eaten. I've learned a lot of things about the meatpacking industry today, and I'm upset too. But you can't fight back by killing and eating us. It's not right. Uh... Uh, you can work with us. We'll create a special giant chicken department. We'll organize Q&A with meat eaters, get you on the news. Uh, we'll get chicken off the cafeteria menu. Rude, but you eat a little quieter. Girl, I'm dirty bulking. Gotta get my arms strong. <laughs> Wouldn't you want a bite of this delicious, cruelty free artichoke instead? You're really serious about that vegan stuff, huh? What can I say? I play cold turkey. Stronger creatures for you to battle. More creatures to ensure your demise. <gasps> Damn you! A cornerstone of genetic research must wait like a turd! Damn you! Damn you! Damn you! Damn you! <laughs> Maxi, beautiful piece of machinery, you sexy thing. I'll slay Goro and take every piece of tech off of him. He's a real marvel that I must put to the limit, so that I can acquire his strength myself, and we'll do it together. I hope you're ready, Doom Chaser Goro. Wait, 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 wait. Why are we here? 
hi, hello. How have you been? Oh yeah, I'm good. What about you? Oh yeah, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Why are you here? I was looking for you. I need more things for mom. Those I gave you six months ago were supposed to be enough. Well, we need more. You think it's easy to get them? She's dying. I can't. So, so you let your own mother die? Humans are not made to live forever. She's seen enough in 227 years. Please. I can't. Ever since the arrival of the new leader, there's executioners in every corner of the city. Transactions in the black market have slowed down. Please, Isla. Can I see it? Once you give me the pills. I don't have all night. That's not enough. That's all I could get. Wasn't the deal. Take it or leave it. Where's what I asked for? <laughs> we agreed on an exchange. You did not respect our agreement. No way I'm giving you the merchandise. I love. Give it to me! Or what? I love, we gotta go! Hey, you! Don't move! What's in the back? It's just some trash. Open the back. It's just some papers. No, 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 let me do it. No, you get ready. I need the pills. I'll give them to her. Don't worry. Go! here anymore. What? Well, I thought you knew. You what? She died six months ago. No, I think you're mistaking her with someone else. Daryl visits her once a week. I know. He's the one who found her dead. He asked for my help to set up the funeral. I gave him the address of an affordable crematorium. The place is empty. No one wants to buy an apartment in this area. She died. She was really old. 
She's been what did she do to her? Nothing. Nothing. She died peacefully. She she just got tired of life. Where are the pills for? Listen, it's not what you think it is, okay? Uh, Don't you dare lying to me again. You might be my brother, but I won't hesitate to cut your tongue and let you bleed out until you die. What are these pills for, Derry? She's my daughter. Her mother died while giving birth. But that's impossible. The entire population was made infertile. If the authorities find her, they'll kill you. Well, I'm not going to let her die. I'm not a monster. The immune system is really weak. I try to give her the pills, but it doesn't cure her completely. Do you have them? They're for mom. Well, look at her. She needs them. Don't you have a heart? I didn't let her mother die. You never visited her. She didn't see her face for two years. I was the one who took care for her. She didn't care for us. That's not true. I provided the pills that made her live for so long. She didn't care about the pills. She just wanted to see you again. At least you could have returned her calls. She hated me for not saving death from the executioners. She gave you love, but you didn't want it. Open the door. This is an order. But they found us. And leave. There's a fire escape that, that that leads to the street from the bedroom. I'm not leaving you. I'll buy some time. No, don't arrest you. You can't buy them. I know, which is why I need you to keep the baby. Okay, with you, she has a chance to survive. Do it for me, please. Hey. What is a grilled cheese? Bread. Cheese. A little olive oil if you're feeling fancy. Cooked on a hot iron grill. A dish so simple, a rat could cook it. And yet, you somehow fucked up the easiest dish in the existence of human history. You've given me toast. Is your mind toasted too? It, it was an accident. You were an accident, Oliver! You were a bigger mess of a man than I have ever known. Unlike Gary over here. Gary, what dish have you brought today? Chef, I present my deconstructed Eastern Fusion dry noodles with tomato aioli and cilantro garnish. <clears throat> <clears throat> Mmm! Yes! Mmm! <laughs> oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Finding some good fucking food! Watch and learn, Oliver! Yes, Chef. I'm, I'm sorry, Chef. Honey, it's okay. Everyone makes mistakes. I know everyone makes mistakes, Pepper. But does everyone fuck up a grilled cheese? 
I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? It, it's it's bread, it's cheese, another piece of bread, and then you put it on the grill, and bam, you know, it should be done. But no, I fuck it up because I forget the damn cheese, Pepper. The goddamn cheese! Hey, hey, enough of this. Sweetheart, I know you can do this. You can't turn back now. You've come this far. You said it yourself, you didn't want to go back to your old illustrated job. You need to believe in yourself. Your friends, your family, we're all here to help. You know why? Because you have a good heart. Yeah. You're right. I just need to believe in myself. And then I can do anything. First you forget the cheese, then you forget the bread. What are you gonna fucking forget next? The pan? <laughs> but I believed in myself. Well, believe this, buddy. Your dish is hot garbage, and so are you. Yes, chef. Thank you, chef. How do you do it? What is it I do? How do you just make good food? I can't. Ollie, can I call you Ollie? Listen, Ollie, you know what your issue is? You don't make good food. What? Right now, you're just making food. If you can even call it that. Me? I'm an artist. You should be making art. Put some of that soul into your food. That's what I do every single day. You know what I mean? Just stop beating around the bush and tell me already. I'm saying, put a little of yourself into your art. You get? Put some of that heart and soul in there. Once you do that, chef will be guzzling down your grilled cheeses in no time. You understand? I think I do. Good boy. Heart and soul. Chef, I present Luxemburger potato crisps served with a Parisian chocolat, drizzle, and a thyme garnish. never cease to impress me. Thank you, chef. Now, where is that idiot Oliver? <laughs> chef, I present you a toasted cheese crostini with the dry aged heart of an artist. Oh, what the f Oliver, after eating your heart and getting a taste of your soul, I'm not impressed. 
fact, I asked for a grilled cheese, not a fucking toasted crostini. You failed yet again. <laughs> no! No! And they call me heartless. Hey! I know you're back there. Stop following me. I'm not following you. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I will bash your teeth in if you come anywhere near me. Do you understand? I'm not afraid of you. I'm walking this way because I want to walk this way. You can go whichever way you want, but me, I'm going this way. Yeah, well, I'm going to go this way. <sighs> Set up the plan pretty well. I mean, everything was laid in order, but as soon as those cells with sirens, I knew it was all fucked. Sirens? Yeah. You know, police sirens. <laughs> okay. Good to know. I, I've never done that. I've never swung my bat with another bat, you know? Yeah? Yeah. Bats don't well, like balls. Well, I'm not much into baseball anyways. We were talking about baseball. <laughs> <laughs> what happened here? Ah, it made me look cool. That's it? Yeah, why else do you wear band-aids? <laughs> I don't know, maybe if you got hurt or something? I don't get hurt. You know, I wanted to be a ballerina, but my mom would always say I'd only ever be a buffalo arena when I'd bring it up. I never really talked to my mom. I mean, she died when I was young, but she never even tried to stick around. I hate my mom. Can't wait to put that bitch in a retirement home. 
That's why I'm glad I don't have to deal with that shit. I think she's the moron that got me into this mess. She was all like, Ooh, do it for me. Play nice. Be my bridesmaid. Did you? Play nice? Well, nice is subjective. If you consider inviting a bunch of Hell's Angels as your plus one and lighting the bride's hair on fire, then yeah, I'd say I played nice. I think I don't understand your definition of nice. Well, I could have been worse. I may or may not have uh, entertained myself with the groom and the other bridesmaid. Are you and your mom on good terms? Who do you think dumped me here? Hey, by the way, you never told me why you're out here. If I tell you, I gotta kill you. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> I... Uh... It's okay, just take your time, take a breath. Um, maybe start from the beginning. Okay. It was a couple days ago. James was talking with the crew about how to catch that... that thing. Alright gamers, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna hunt this goober, and you're all gonna make me look good while I do it. Got it? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We cannot miss this chance. Here's our target. Gray, kind of cute to be honest. Has great taste in slacks. We ride at sundown. We should have been more prepared. All right, everyone. We've had reports of a night crawler appearing around these parts. Guys, what is guys, it? Guys, what is it? Guys, get that on camera! Get that on camera! Oh god! Oh god! Fuck oh is god. that? Don't get back on the. Oh, it's gone. No! It was terrifying. And it was only the beginning. Oh god, what the hell was that thing? We need to come up with a plan to catch it and quick. What the hell is that thing? Aren't you the fucking expert? Okay, we all just need to calm down and figure this out. Okay, where did we go? Guys! Guys! Oh, oh my god! god. Guys! Guys! Oh. God, please, I have a wife. I have kids. Oh, fuck. Ah. We didn't know what to do. We just stood there as he was getting stomped on. It was... It was kind of hot. Uh, this is kind of hot, but... Oh, fuck. Ah. I'll take a break for a second. Yeah. Oh. oh, this? This is meat juice. This comes out in 2023. Drink me. Wait, wait. What the fuck was that? Oh, it, I think it came from the art building. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, let's go, let's go. Oh, what the hell? Where is that little critter? Where did I leave my damn phone? Cordy, get your phone out. We gotta take some behind the scenes. Come on. Wait, oh, what, what's going on? What's going on? Oh no! Oh, oh. No! Oh god! Camera guy! No! He was so young. Courtney, save yourself! Run! Run! That thing started to pick ah. us off one by one.
I was the only one who survived. But that thing is still out there, causing terror. Oh my god, dude, you should not have gone home last weekend. I'm guessing you've heard about what happened last Sunday night. It was weird. It was crazy. It was messed up. Let me start from the beginning. I was at Ben's house. <laughs> and I'm just getting another drink. Chilling in the corner. Coming out of the bathroom when I, when see, I see Logan, Logan Torres walk through the front door. Now, I'm not all team Logan. I don't hate him. He's a guy. But when I saw him walk through the door, I knew some shit was going to go down. Ben's over there playing some game with two or three people watching. Wait, you know Ben, right? Ben, a fucking asshole. Not as bad as people say. Didn't Logan key his car in public? Only because Ben was shit-talking him on his Twitch stream. Because Logan spilled White Claw in the seat of his 2018 Dodge Challenger. He had this Starbucks thermos with a lid. Anyways. By this point, Ben's not looking too good. He's nursing what I'm pretty sure was a Jaeger that he finished three-fourths of in an hour. And Logan looked pretty messed up. Looked like he already had a few drinks on the way over. Ben spots Logan. Logan spots Ben. And he makes a beeline for him. Walks across the full length of the room to meet him. It doesn't matter who came over first, but Logan starts pushing. Ben made the first move. And before you knew it, we all had our phones out like, bing, because it was starting. Yeah. Poor guy didn't look ready at all. Logan was looking with this kind of fiery hatred in his eyes. Everybody's yelling at this point, and I push my way to the front of the crowd. One guy pushed his way to the front and yelled, twist, twist his dick off. off! It was so funny. No one laughed. <laughs> Logan was hitting Ben really hard. It's not fair. Ben's giving Logan full heart swings to the back with his bottle of Jaeger. Ben, he's too drunk to stand, and Logan's just beating him to a pulp in front of everyone. So, Logan picks up a bottle. I think it was a Corona. Heineken pops blue ribbon. And takes him out with it. And breaks it on his head. Smashes it across his fucking face. Ben goes down immediately. Blood dripping down his face and neck. I mean, a hit like that could fracture your skull. He's probably fine. He's probably not. We don't even know what happened to him. I heard from somewhere he got off without any serious injuries. Do you really think you can believe what he's saying? Do you think you can trust her? She didn't even mention that girl. What girl? The girl that showed up after and pulled a knife on Logan. But it wasn't a knife. I saw it. It was something else. Also, it wasn't me. There wasn't a girl there. <laughs> Logan left himself. Yes, there was. But she didn't pull a knife. How do you know whoever told you there wasn't a girl was even at the party? I was at the party. How else would I know what bottle Logan had? Logan doesn't even drink Corona. <laughs> How would he know something like that? What? It's basic knowledge. Grass grows, birds fly, Logan hates Coronas. Have they said one negative thing about Logan? Think about it. And besides, I saw Logan drink Corona at the 4th of July party last year. The 4th of July party? I was just there. I wasn't with anyone. Where all this shit started? Not all of it. What about the White Claw? You think anyone actually cared about the White Claw? Don't listen to them. No, listen to me. You're being manipulated. 
I've been telling you nothing but the facts. Let's just start over. Disregard everything you've heard so far, okay? <sighs> we were at Ben's house. I was at Ben's house. Then suddenly Logan walks in and starts a fight. But what about the Jaeger? He could handle it. It was just a green bottle. Oh, so now there's no Jaeger either? Logan walks over. Ben walks over. Ben's too drunk to stand. So first he can handle it, now he's too drunk to stand? He's a little drunk. Drunk enough to start a fight. Logan didn't look any better. Logan can stand a beer. Eventually Logan picks up this bottle. Because he shoved him. Tries to kill Ben. He knows when to stop. Because of the girl who pulled a knife on him. Which could have been her. Ben wouldn't get somebody like that. And there it is again. Ben wouldn't do something like that. Like he's any less biased. Can you see what's going on here? You're being lied to. Logan's got his little goons out there. Ben's probably got 10,000 guys on campus. Telling everyone what a great guy he is. Sucking him off, trying to get a spot on his Twitch stream. Just close everyone else off. They're trying to push an agenda. Come on, you know me. You know me better. You trust me, right? Please, I'm begging you. Come on, why won't you listen to me? Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen, listen to, to me. me.